Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. It's your boy Salty Boy. So I'm on a mission in September. I stopped doing uh, the Keys. Uh, I had one last trip that was on Saturday, I believe, and didn't go too well. Didn't really, didn't catch any keeper fish, but we did hook up on a couple, um, ah, shit, mosquitoes. Uh, we, did, we did hook up on a couple muttons but no, no keepers but today oh but today we're at beautiful beautiful red reef park this park is one of my favorite parks to fish at especially for the mullet run look how gorgeous this is guys so gorgeous it's a perfect day the beach is flat beautiful and we are on a mission today to see if we can see any school uh, mullet running down yet. It won't be the big school, but we might see a couple of small schools um, marching down. So let's see what it is. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Your boy Salty Boy. Hey, hold on one second. You heard? Hello? Okay. I, I found some bait. Yeah, the pill trees though. Oh, nice size pill trees. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. They're not mullet, but still live bait. We got some pill trees. God damn it. All falling out. I hate when they fall in the sand. guys so putting on our first bait it's a little pilly right here hooking through the nose put them back on here put them on the hook just like that 
we are just gonna cast them out over in this area because that's where the pilchers are swimming. So if there's anything that wants to swim and get them, they'll come grab it. Not going too far with this one. Because the snooks, they like to come up on the shore, swim back and forth. They don't really go too deep. So we're gonna keep them right there for a little bit, let them swim out there. And then the big red, big red, I'm going to put a, a piece of cut jack on it. See if we can get a shark. And that one, I'm gonna wait it out and then I'm gonna cast it all the way out. Oh, oh. Oh damn, something was on it. Oh, right there, still on it. Come back for it. Damn. It was on it. Let me try to hurry up and get it back out there. Ugh. That was definitely a fish. I hope it wasn't a needle fish. All right guys, so I got my cut bait. I caught a houndfish. With sharpens and sharks, they like to eat those. So I got a piece of houndfish on and uh, waited it out. And time's supposed to be dropping. So I'm gonna try to wait it out as far as possible. When you're in the water, especially when you can't really see too much, I can see like about three feet in front of me. So, but I'm still scooting my feet through the sand make sure you know i'm not disturbing any stingrays or anything like that right, we're just gonna keep scooting no signs of mullet yet which is fine they said they're still up in jupiter so we really have as you see there's really no wind and the wind literally determines uh, how long it's going to take them to get down south I'll go as far as possible and watch uh. Oof, that's a good cast right there. I like that. All right, we got our cup bait out, and I did catch that hound fish. So I was hoping it was some jacks that are blowing up on the on the pilchers, but I kind of figured it would be a hound fish because it wasn't taking any drag. So we still got all day. We'll be here till like three, four o'clock, and we'll go from there. See you guys in a little bit. Oh, as soon as I walked away. Oh, it, it come off, it jumped out there and everything. Oh, man. Oh, oh, it's still on there. No, it came off. Damn, missed it. Oh, man. Dang. Let's see if he'll come back for it. Dang, that, it, whatever it was, it jumped out of the water. That backlash. Oh. 
the hunt. Another hound fish. These suckers are out there. Another houndy. Ooh. I got bit by one of those before. It's not fun. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. got him guys got him this time I hope it's recording Oh, that's a nice barracuda. Nice barracuda. I get him in before he shakes the hook. Nice cuda. I'm glad I put that wire on there. Cause you would cut me off quick. Ugh. Nice cuda. Come on. Nice cuda. Yeah. Nice berry. Look at that guys. Oh yeah. That is a nice barracuda right there. Yes sir. Oh yeah. That wire came in handy. Yes sir. Yeah. Heck yeah. Woo! He coming home. Where's my pliers at? Oh yeah, that's a nice cuda. Oh, look at them teeth. Look at those teeth. That boy ain't held it. Oh. You gotta be careful with these things. Oh, nice barracuda. Calm down, big ass. Hey, everybody. So this barracuda oh, yes, ended yeah. up uh, choking down my hook. So that's another reason why I, I put him in the cooler too because he choked down the hook and if i let him go he would have he would have uh died so it's better to keep him plus this barracuda was a perfect size for an eater barracuda so we just took him home and we harvest him uh. 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 Yes, yeah, sir. That's a nice cuda.
Nice, nice, nice barracuda. Try to get a picture with him real quick. I know I bought it. Where did I put it? Boy likes a needlefish. He's going home. Oh. Oh. So guys, I just want to show you why it's important to have a good pair of shades. You know, there are a lot of shades that you can buy at Walmart, whichever, but when it comes to important, especially sight fishing for snook or just looking for bait in the in these channels right here, it's always good to have a good pair of polarized sunglasses. But look at the difference. a big difference between that and and that this gorgeous so when you guys buy glasses you know these are maui gems i'm hoping to get some waterlands uh for christmas but you know spend good money on a pair of glasses spend good money on your rods you know stuff that actually matters you know and that way you can almost guarantee you don't catch fish man or at least see them <laughs> crazy all right guys so that's all she wrote i walked the beach for about a mile didn't see any snooks it makes sense because all the snooks they're actually probably migrating north to follow the mullet run uh i did hook up on a tarpon which i saw but it shook the hook so fast i couldn't even get the gopro to press play before it shook the hook jumped out shook the hook and that was it uh for all you guys that don't think tarpon don't eat cut bait they do eat cut bait trust me i know uh but it's just a beautiful day the tide started moving south, which is kind of crazy, but that'll probably bring the mullet down better. But as you can see, the water is flat. But it was a good day. Got a barracuda out of it. I'm not complaining. Uh, there's no mullet right now, but I guarantee within a week or so, the mullet would be down here. But we're going to see if the mullet are actually at Jupiter tomorrow. So I'm going to post this video tonight. This is where you guys are going to follow me. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be at Jupiter. Peace.